by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahara Kakwadash, in Hebrew, that will be giving praises to our Almighty Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and that will be in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who is our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth, honors to the brethren that's laboring and doing the work to push this gospel, risking their life and freedom to do so, peace and blessings to the hopeful we lack, the one third of our people who's returning back to Yahweh and Yahweh Shah during these final moments so that he will have mercy on us in judgment. So we back with another lesson through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. This lesson is going to be titled, Can Anybody Repent and Serve the Most High? Again, this lesson is going to be titled, Can Anybody Repent and Serve the Most High? And what inspired this lesson, because this is not the first time that I've heard this question, for those who saw my live about a month or two ago, I ran into somebody who I met a couple years back who's supposed to be in this truth. And he told me that anybody could be saved. That if white people believe the truth and serve the Most High, they can also get salvation too and also reign in the kingdom of heaven. I told them no. So this person here asks, do y'all believe non-native born can be saved? In other words, can people outside of the nation of Israel be saved? Who's the nation of Israel? The Hispanics, Blacks, and Native Americans. And Mysteries of the Kingdom said, as long as their line, their lineage goes back to Israel. So as long as your forefathers go back to the nation of Israel, you are eligible for, for salvation. So at the, at the Mysteries of the Kingdom said, yeah, as long as their line goes back to Israel, this dude went to say, yeah, but you are who your father is. And there is no 100% definite way to prove that your father's father's father was native born and there was no interruption. So he's saying there is no way to tell if your grandfather's going all the way back actually come from the nation of Israel with no interruption because if there's an interruption in the genealogy and your grandfather is somebody else outside of this sign that automatically disqualifies you so if you got a great 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 white grandfather or Asian or East Indian most likely you're not an Israelite today you just look like one and that's the scary thing about this truth but Mysteries of the Kingdom said it's based upon faith. If you believe the report, the testimony, the scriptures, there's a good chance you are Israelite. Because only Israel, only the spirits of the Israelites can believe this report. It wasn't given to anybody else to believe. And if we go down a couple comments, the same person went to say, are you saying that somebody that's Caucasian today that has no association with the lineage going back to Israel can't be saved if they repent and start serving the Most High? So again, pretty much he's saying that white people today that got no association with the nation of Israel going back, can they be saved if they repent and start serving the Most High? I responded because... They were sort of being hard-headed and stubborn. So we're going to get into this lesson. Now, can white people or anybody else that's outside of the 12 tribes of Israel, can they be saved if they repent and serve the Most High? This is not the first time I heard this. I heard it in person. Now I've seen it online. So let's get into it. Isaiah 41 and 8. But thou Israel art my servant. Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, again, but thou, Israel, art my servant. So, yeah, Israel is the Lord's servant. Jacob, whom I have chosen, because the Lord chose Jacob. Jacob and Israel are the same person. Once the Lord start dealing with you, you get a new name. That's why Jacob's name was changed to Israel. 
which represent the 12 tribes today. The Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, everybody you see on this sign. The nation of Israel was chosen to be the Lord's servant. Not the Egyptians, not the Edomites, not the Ammonites, not the Amorites, not the Philistines, not the Canaanites. You're not going to see no other nation of people in the same sentence with the word servant. Only those of the nation of Israel can be the Lord's servant because the Lord chooses his servant because the Lord is a great king. So you can claim the Lord, but that doesn't mean the Lord claims you. The Lord has to claim you. You can't say, I'm going to give my life to the Lord and be a servant because only Israel, only the nation of Israel can serve the Lord. Nobody else can serve the Lord. And just to back it up, Isaiah 49 and 3, and he said it to me, thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. So the Lord is repeatedly telling you that Israel is his servant. Now it will be the men of the nation of Israel in its entirety. This is not limited to one person. That's why you got Ezekiel, Daniel, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Hosea, Obadiah, Zechariah, Zephaniah, Luke, Mark, John, Yahweh, Shai, the 12 disciples of 70, and the men of the Lord that you see today. We all fall under this term Israel. So, again, you're not going to see the word servant with any other people next to it. Only the nation of Israel. Because... We are who the Lord has chosen. You can't choose the Lord. The Lord has to choose you. That's why the scriptures also say, Yahweh I said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. The Lord is a great king. He picks his servants. Like a king that go in to a restaurant or whatever, he can pick his waitress. And why, what is it that makes us chosen? How were we chosen? How are we able to serve the Lord? It's according to the law, statutes, and commandments that was given to the Israelites once we came up out of Egypt. That's why Psalms 147 and 19, he show of his word unto Jacob, which would be the nation of Israel. And what is his word? It's the Bible in its entirety, the law, statutes, and commandments, the Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and the New Testament. So he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Jacob and Israel, the same people. He hath not dealt so with any nation. The Lord is not dealing with any other nation. He didn't show his word unto the Edomites. He didn't show his word unto the Philistines, the Egyptians, the Canaanites, the Ammonites. The Lord didn't show his word to them. The other nations don't know his statutes and his judgments. Why is that? Because he had not dealt so with any other nation. He didn't choose any other nation. No other nation can serve him. The law, statutes, and commandments is pretty much an instruction guide on how to serve the Lord. It's a guide on how to serve the Lord. Nobody else, no other people was given this guide on how to please the Lord. Only Jacob, Israel, the 12 tribes, the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. Yeah, so these other nations don't know his judgments. What's his judgments? The curses of Deuteronomy. Ain't nobody else under that except these people on this sign. And just like they don't know his judgments, they don't know the curses. They also won't know the blessings because judgment from the Lord goes both ways with the nation of Israel. How they say from rags to riches, we're going to go from the curses to the blessings, which in its perfection goes into the kingdom of heaven. So the people who will be blessed later are the people who are cursed right now. So that's who can serve the Lord, the nation of Israel. 
because that's who the Lord chosen, nobody else. So to answer the question, can anybody serve the Lord? No, only the nation of Israel. Next question, can anybody repent? Let's get into it. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 6. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, say unto the house of Israel, the house of Jacob, the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, thus says the Lord Yahweh, repent. Let's read that over. Listen closely. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, thus says the Lord Yahweh, repent. You're not going to see the word repent next to any other people outside of Israel. You're not going to see Egyptians and repent in the same sentence. You're not going to see Edomites and repent in the same sentence. You're not going to see the Ammonites. The, what's some other people called? Uh, the Amorites, the Ishmaelites, the Canaanites. You're not going to see them in the same sentence with the word repent. Repentance ain't for them, never was, never will be. Repentance is only for the nation of Israel. That's why the Lord commanded Ezekiel, say unto the house of Israel, repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. So, yeah, the Lord is commanding the nation of Israel to repent. And what does it mean to repent? Repent is not a saying. You can't pray to the Lord Lord, I want to ask for forgiveness and repentance. Repentance is an act. And what's the act of repentance? Let's read. Repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. So whatever you're doing that goes against the scriptures, whatever you're doing that's taking your heart and your mind away from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you got to turn away from it. You got to forsake it. You got to drop it. So repentance is an action. It's not a word. You can't pray for repentance. That's an action on your part, on our part. So we got to turn from all the stuff, from all the BS that we picked up here in America during this final generation. Everything we learned in the world, we got to turn away from it. We got to start fresh. So that's what it means to repent. And like I said in the comment, what does it mean to repent? It means to turn back to the covenant. What's a covenant? It's a contract. What's in that contract? The law, statutes, and commandments. The Lord said, you follow the laws and commandments. I bless you. You disobey. I curse you. So to repent is to turn away from the world and turn back to the Lord. To turn back to the Lord is to turn back to the laws and the commandments that he gave us. That's what it means to repent. Because he's sending you to turn away from our abominations. Turn away from our idols. So if you turn away from this stuff, you're going to turn another way. For example, if you facing something to your right and you turn opposite. Now you're going to be facing the left. So we're turning away from the world to turn towards something else. You turn away from the world to turn towards the laws and commandments, the covenant, the Lord. And only the nation of Israel is being commanded to do this. Just a little more backup. Ezekiel chapter 18, we're going to start at verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. Everyone according to his ways, saith the Lord Yahweh, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. So the Lord is telling us to repent. Repent is an action. It's not a phrase. It's not something that you pray for. It's not something that you ask for. It's something that we're supposed to do on our part. We're supposed to turn from all our transgressions. White man's Christianity, being a part of this system, identifying as a Negro and a Native American, celebrating these stupid holidays, eating abominable foods, not seeking the Lord. So to repent 
is to turn away from everything that we've been doing previously. So you turn away from the ways of the world to turn towards Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, so that iniquity, that our sin, would not be our ruin. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? So the Lord is telling us to repent and turn away from all the BS that we've been doing all these years. So can anybody repent? No, only the nation of Israel can repent. Because what does it mean to repent? Because again, repentance is an action. To repent is to turn away from everything that the Lord commanded us not to do. It's to turn away from everything that goes against the scriptures. And it's to turn back to the Lord. Turn back to the law, statutes, and commandment, which is the covenant, the contract. These other nations of people, white people, and anybody else outside of this chart, they can't repent. They can't turn back to the law. They can't turn back to the covenant if the covenant was never given to them. So repentance is only for the nation of Israel, the people who was given the law, statutes, and commandments. If it wasn't given to you, you can't turn back to it. And that's why Amos 3 and 1, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. So yet the Lord instead of said, Only you have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. Repentance is so that we will no longer be punished. So that we will no longer be under the curses. You know, so the Lord won't be angry with us no more. But if you're not being punished for your iniquities, how can you repent? Only the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes, is being punished right now. Ain't no other nation of people being punished. Not the Chinese, not the white man, not the East Indian, not the Arabs. Because if I remember, they all above us in society. Ain't none of them oppressed. So the Lord is only punishing us. Because we are the only people of all the families he have known. Therefore, he's telling us to repent. So to answer this question, are you saying that somebody that's Caucasian today that has no association with lineage going back to Israel can't be saved if they repent and start serving the Most High? Can anybody be saved? No. Nah, can anybody serve the Most High? No. We know who can serve the Most High. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen. Who can repent? Israel, the house of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's why the Lord commanded the house of Israel to repent. So, no, not anybody can be saved as they repent or serve the Most High, because serving the Lord in repentance is only for the nation of Israel, the house of Jacob. So that's it for this lesson here. Until next time, Shalom.